वेलकम बैक इन दिस वीडियो वी वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम एट डैश ट्वेंटी टू एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री दैट इज टेकन फ्राम बुक मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटीरियल बाई आर सी हिबलर इट्स चैप्टर नंबर एट कम्बाइंड लोडिंग सो स्टेटमेंट ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम इज दैट द क्लैम्प इज मेड फ्राम मेम्बर ए बी एंड ए सी विच आर पेन कनेक्टेड एट ए सो दिस इज मेम्बर ए बी एंड दिस इज मेम्बर ए सी दैट इज कनेक्टेड बाई यूजिंग अ पेन एट ए इफ इट इज exert a compressive force at c and b of 180 so this at point c there is a compressive stress clear which is 180 newton determine the maximum compressive stress in the clamp at section aa so you have to find the maximum compressive stress at section aa it is also given that screw ef is subjected to only tensile force so the stress that is uh generated in this uh, lead screw is tensile stress clear so what we have to find is the maximum compressive stress so let's start with this solution of problem 8-22 so if you take uh, member ac as free as free ac as free body diagram and if you draw it so let me draw it it will be like it will be like this one i have drawn it roughly so this is point a so if you remove this pin support at a so you will be having a horizontal force let like this is ax and there will be a vertical force which is ay which is ay passing through this pin this is ay clear stress at point c is given as compressive which is 180 newton so this is 180 newton also it is given that the stress will be tensile uh in this lead screw so lead screw will exert a downward force on this member ac so let this is the f force which is not known clear we will also uh, write the distance between point this line is 30 uh, from uh, 30 and this is 40 so if this is the line so this distance will be 30 mm and this distance is till this center of application of this force is 40 mm now what we will do is that using equation of equilibrium that first equation of equilibrium is that sum sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero upward force is taken as positive so you can see one force is ay the other is 180 and third one is minus fy their sum must be equal to zero so ay minus f plus 180 is equal to zero so from here you can get that f is equal to ay plus 180 that this is your equation number 1 now we will this is point f or you can see this is f point okay and this is force you can also call let we call it p okay p so that you should not confuse with f and this now we will take some of all moment about point f is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so about this point f one moment is uh, ay clear one moment is ay into uh, ay into perpendicular distance is 30 clear so if we take moment f at f is equal to 0 so there will be horizontal component so what we will do is that we will take the sum of all moments about point a is equal to 0 and now we will solve 
so about point a one moment is due to this force p into perpendicular distance is 30 this is producing clockwise so it will be negative so i will write minus 30 p the second moment is due to this load 180 and perpendicular distance is 70 millimeter and this is counterclockwise so it will be positive so plus 180 multiplied by 70 is equal to 0 so from here 30 p will be equal to 180 multiplied by 70 and this p will be equal to 420 newton now you have this value of p so put p is equal to 420 newton in equation one so what we will get is that 420 is equal to a y plus 180 so we will get a y will be equal to 420 minus 180 which will be equal to 240 240 newton a y so we have now a y as well we now have p as well so what we will do is that uh, uh, you can just cut the section over here if you cut it over here let me draw it with black color if you cut it over here so you will be having this p uh, this a y force or this force will be over transmitted over here and that will be equal to 240 newton load clear and we will have this force at f at this force will be equal to 180 newton and at f we have this f force acting at this is 420 newton and you if you want to calculate movement definitely when you cut it at section a you will have movement and this movement is equal to zero you can also check how because the sum of all movement about this point if you take the sum of all movement about uh, this point f will be equal to zero so you can see that 180 multiplied by 40 that is counterclockwise will be equal to 240 into 30 and this the net effect will be the net movement will be equal to zero so now we will calculate the maximum compressive stress we know that compressive stress is equal to at section a a this will be equal to load per unit area so load is 240 240 newton and area at this section is given as 15 by 15 millimeter so 15 millimeter is 0 0.015 meter and this is 15 millimeter 0 0.1015 meter so when you calculate you will get maximum stress that comes out to be 1.07 into 10 is to power 6 pascal or you can say maximum bending stress is 1.07 mega pascal so this is the answer of our first part and this stress will be compressive one clear so again if you want to in our problem 8-23 the statement is same but it is given that sketch the stress distribution acting over section aa so if this is the section a a portion this is section a a clear so stress is compressive so the stress distribution will be over this surface will be this one clear and they, because there is no moment produce so there will be no bending stress only a normal stress that is sigma maximum and that is compressive and it is 1.07 mega pascal and uh, so this is the stress distribution at section AA and that was all about this problem 8-22 and 23. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it. 
those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section also share my videos with your friends so that uh, they may also learn and my channel may also grow thank you for watching